I can just kind of come up with a workout on the spot. And that's what we're doing today. All right, so every time you, you work out, you always want to make sure you warm up properly, right? Today I am doing a, not a full body workout, but I'm working shoulders, arms, and legs. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do, very important, you wanna make sure you warm up. I'm gonna warm up with some laterals. So I wanna warm up the shoulders, so laterals, about 10, reverse lunges, 10 on each leg, so a total of 20. All right, so for those um, dumbbell reverse lunges, like I said, I'm warming up, but just to kind of give you like a little demo on this. On those reverse lunges, you're stepping back, right? Far enough to where you're on your toes, slowly driving that back knee down, and then pushing back up. Same thing on the other side, stepping back, driving that knee down, pushing back up. Now you wanna make sure it's far enough back to where whenever you drive your knee down, right? Let me do it on this side. You're not gonna end up here, all right? That's gonna hurt the knees. You wanna go far back enough to where you're on your toes. This front foot is uh, flat foot. And when you drive this back knee down, right? This knee autom automatically bends, but you're not off balance, right? So you're stepping back, drive that knee straight down, come back up, cool? All right. Twenty in total. One important thing about um, lunges, lunges in general, right? Reverse or front, right? You're gonna hear a lot of people saying, if you step back like a reverse lunge, that's for the quads or, or, or glutes. If you step forward, no, no. Yeah, if you step forward, it's for the, for the quads. If you step back, it's for, for the glutes. It doesn't fucking matter, right? It's the position. Right, so you can step back and still work the quads, or you can step forward and still work the glutes, right? So it doesn't matter which one you do. Yes, one's easier to get into that position to where you're working the glutes or the quads, but if, if, you, if somebody's telling you, oh, step forward for quads, step back for glutes, ask them why, right? Because you can still step forward and still, still feel it all in the glutes, and you can still step back and feel it all in the quads, right? So what's the difference? Let's just say uh, reverse lunges, right? Naturally, whenever you do a reverse lunge, you step back and you lean forward, right? This lean right here is gonna put a stress on the quads. I mean, um, the glutes, I'm sorry. Put a stress on the glutes. If you step forward, you kind of automatically, you're naturally upright. So whenever you go down, you put everything on the quads, right? So naturally, that's why if you step forward, you're kind of automatically um, working the quads. However, let's just say if you step forward and you lean forward, guess what? You're automatically on the glutes again. So it really doesn't matter if you go forward or back. Let me show you the back. So you're stepping back, this is glutes. You're stepping back, this is quads, right? So it doesn't make a difference. As long as you know that your hip is gonna determine whether you're working quads or glutes, that's all you gotta know. You can do either one. So you can do forward, right? And you can stay upright and go straight down and back up, quads. Or you can lean forward, go down and back up. That's all glutes. That's the only difference there is, right? 
So before before you tell somebody stepping forward, or lunging, lunging forward is uh, quads, lunging back is glutes. Make sure you understand why. All right. So we're doing um, four sets for the warm up. I know I said 10 laterals, but doing 15, 15 laterals, 20 total reverse lunges, so basically 10 on each leg. All right, hopefully, hopefully you guys can see me, but you ideally you want your your back fully fully against um, against the seat, and you want your tailbone pushed all the way back, right? You want to protect that lower back. So tailbone all the way to the back. Do not let it. Do not let this part come up. All right? It's gonna hurt. This gonna hurt your lower back. Trust me. You don't want to. You don't want to hurt your back. So. As far as foot placement, just make sure your toes are aligned, your heels are flat on the thing, right? Your whole foot should be flat, right? Don't do this bullshit about picking the toes up, picking the heels up. If you pick the heels up, that's gonna put a lot of stress on your um, on your knees. If you pick the toes up, that's gonna put a lot of stress on your uh, on your shins. Just just do it, you know. Just 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 do it properly. So flat foot, right? I'll say about hip width hip width apart. You can go a little bit wider if you want to work the hamstrings and some glutes. You can go a little bit closer if you want to uh, focus strictly on the quads. Um, narrow stands to get a little bit of everything, right? Um, core is tight. So all you're doing is pushing the thing up. There should be a lever down here, right? The, all machines are about the same. You just got to find that lever. Get nice and control. Remember, your uh, tailbone should be against the thing. You can bring the shoulders up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that, right? You're gonna slowly bring it down, push back up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way back up. Now on the way back up, make sure you do not lock your knees. Keep a soft pin on those knees, right? I know you guys seen those videos where 
people be breaking their their knees because they just throwing the weight up like nothing because they're not controlling the weight and they're locking their knees all the way up you don't want that don't be that person that breaks their knee um, because you weren't doing it properly so inhale on the way down exhale on the way back up once again nice and controlled uh, I said this before I'm gonna say it all the time quality over quantity slow going down right making sure you keep the attention on those muscles same thing on the way up inhale on the way down exhale on the way back up I honestly don't know how many I did there I'm doing um, four sets of 10 yep four sets of 10 so I'm gonna add some more weight to this baby and I'm gonna get my reps in You always want to take breaks in between, right? Don't just jump back into it, especially if you're only lifting weights. If you're trying to focus on building muscle, if you're trying to focus on, you know, getting shredded, make sure you, you know you take a break and then hop back into it. I'd say a good 60 seconds is, is good. shoulder press first of all you want to make sure you get the the seat right a lot of people try to put this vertical I don't I don't recommend that it's gonna put a lot of stress on your rotator cuff especially if your form already sucks um, I don't recommend that. You always want to put it one back. It's going to feel like you're, you're laying back just a little bit, but it's going to take all the pressure away from your rotator cuff and put everything on the shoulders, the main shoulder that you want to work on. So you're going to be laying back, right? Um, now, can you get away with this being vertical? Yes, absolutely. Only a few can though. If you have the mobility, the flexibility to do it, yeah, go for it. If not, don't do it. So, 
Never pick up the dumbbell sitting down. You want to stand up. Take your ass up, hip hinge, grab the dumbbells, roll them, put them on your knees, go ahead and slide it back. Before you lay back, push the dumbbells up to the shoulders, right? So you're going to kick them up and kick them up. Get in position. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way back down. Once again, inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way back up. And that's it, kids. You want to bring your feet kind of close together just because you don't want your, your legs in the way whenever you are curling up. Palms are going to be facing out the whole time. You can lock those elbows in place. You can lean forward a little bit or you can lean back, either one. But the more you lean back, the more stress you're going to put, put on the bicep. The more you lean forward, depending on how you do it, it's a little bit more advanced. Um, some people, if they lean forward, they get more on the shoulders and the extra bicep. Um, but either one works. So you're gonna exhale on the way up, and then you're gonna inhale on the way back down. So take your time with it. There's no need to rush. Make sure you squeeze that bicep on top, and then control it on the way down. Once again, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way back down. 
keeping those elbows locked in place the whole time. Shit. <laughs> 